Hello, and welcome along to Adobe After Effects with your host, Robert Smith. In this video, we're going to animate some typography using a camera and a null object. So let's get stuck in. Now, the first thing we'll do is create a composition, Command N, like, or Control N on the PC. It'll be 1280 by 720, 25 frames per second, and 10 seconds long. And click OK, like that. And I'll go back to one view. Okay, now what we need is first of all is a solid background. So to do that, Command or Control Y will get up the solid settings like that. And that color will do. And now I've got a solid of the size of my composition. Now I need some typography to actually work on. So I'll click on the type tool up here, click on the stage like that, and I'll just type in the word spin out like that. That font will do. Beautiful fair view. And about 317 point. Okay. Now what we need to do is to convert both of those layers to 3D layers. So to do that, I'm going to click here under the cube and here. Now they're both 3D layers. Now I'm going to add a camera. See, right now we've got something called the active camera or default camera. And we can't really animate that. So we need to make a new one. So to do that, I'm going to hold the um, command control key down I should say on the Mac and go to new camera like this and up comes this very very imposing dialog box but all we need to know at this stage is we want a one node camera and a 50 millimeter preset is good always a good starting point in the 3d world and click OK like that now what we need to do is to separate the background or the type from the um, solid. To do that, I'm going to have to have two views. So I'm going to go over here where it says one view and go to two views horizontal like that. Now as you can see, we can see what the camera is seeing over here. And we can also see um, a top view of what's going on. Now let's change this from active camera to camera one, which is the camera we've just made and here it is here. Now uh, to separate those things I'm going to grab the um, solid um, twirly thing, go to transform like this and I'm going to put it 500 pixels into Z space. By, that's the third number here in position. Press return. Now you'll see what's happened. The background has now moved out into space and on the left hand side here you can see actually that happening physically happening from the top view okay now the problem is that now my background is too small to fill up the area because it's a fair way into the distance so all of to fix that I'll just go to scale down here I'm on my solid layer and just scale it up so it fills the actual um, composition area okay great so now I've got that set up let's add some lights now to do that again hold the control key on the Mac and new and click in that little area that gray area there in the timeline and go for new um, light now we can always go up here under layer new and get a light if we wish but that's a quick way of doing it now we want a spotlight with about 81 percent intensity cone angle simply means how um how big it is or how wide the the um, spot is let's just make that about 80 as well and the cone feather 50 is good. Car, make sure this is um, selected, very important. Car shadows, shadow darkness 50%, that's a good starting point. And OK. Now, as you can see, the spotlight's kicked in and the scene has got a much more dramatic um, look to it. OK, and what I'm going to do is now I'll go back to one view here so I can see what's going on. And also over here in my scaling, I'm going to go to fit up to 100% like that. So as I move this around, you'll notice that the composition window gets bigger and smaller. Very, very handy. Okay, so I've got a light like that. The scene's looking quite good. Now, I'm not seeing any shadows. And that's the problem with this type layer. So I'm going to go to this type layer here like this. Under Material Options, I'm going to turn where it says Cast Shadows. I'm going to turn that to On. And now I've got some uh, very dramatic shadows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go down here to my material options and a 
actually I'll turn that down I'll just double click on on the um, actual light itself like this double click on the light and where it says shadow darkness 50% I'm going to drop that back to about about 20% so it's not so dramatic and okay now I want to actually um, start to animate so I'll do that in the next video thanks for watching